Hello, so this is how I made my Badger set of videos. And I realised um, <laughs> before, uh, I mean, after I actually named the set Badger, that uh, Badger set was actually uh, a pun. So never mind. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the previous way I was recording these, um, how I made make the levels videos, <laughs> was I would um, obviously do it whilst I was talking at the same time, but that kind of that meant there was lots of pauses while I was trying to figure out things to do, and there was lots of umming and ahhing and things like that. So I decided this time to try something a little bit different. So I recorded everything um, in kind of bits and pieces, um, so there's like no pauses and uh, nothing is done off camera, but you know, whenever I get an idea, I start off, the, start up recording, do a little bit, and stop the recording. And I've got lo lots of little bits which I kind of stick all together, and uh, then obviously we've got a, a video which I'm going to now uh, try to narrate. But obviously I recorded it a, a little while ago, so I may not remember everything about it. But I'll try and obviously give some kind of insight on what was going on. Plus, you can look at the, the video anyway, see it all coming together, and kind of have some kind of idea of what's uh, going on. I mean, I don't know if I've gave you know too much insight on how these things come together because it's like, oh, I've got an idea, I'll do this rather than actually explaining where that idea come from. That that's the tricky part. How do you explain where ideas come from? It, it, it it's yeah, it, it's quite complicated. So hopefully in, in this some way you'll you'll glean something and see how these levels build up and and all that. One more thing before we get started. Um I tried to use the Takata graphics, but the way I did it kind of messed things up a bit. The transporters didn't quite transport to the correct locations. It was all a bit messed. So at the start of this you'll see some card graphics, but later on you'll just switch back to like the the prelude graphics because I couldn't figure out or I, I just got it wrong and I thought, oh well, I'll just, just go with the, the prelude graphics instead. So yeah, it was going to look a bit, little bit more uh, different, but uh, never mind. So let's get into actually looking at the recording. So this is like the first part of it. There's uh, going to be another, I think, a couple of parts of this, but normally they're going to be like in two parts for each of the uh, actual um, how, how I made them videos, and then there's going to be the playthrough after that. So here you can see a basic start off of uh, what I had. So I basically had uh, the top of the level, and then a kind of like a pipe thing going down to the bottom of the level, and yeah, you know, that's kind of where I started. And obviously I had some kind of idea for the the bottom part of this level. Um, which is the the kind of trap that um, I have set up, uh, which is you know if you go through there without going into the the bottom corner first, then you're going to push the boulders on top of a diamond and make sure you not be able to uh, to pick it up. So this is all the setup for that. And a lot of these things you're going to see is like I do something, then I kind of like go back and, or you know, <laughs> try it maybe a few different ways, and uh, then find the way that actually works. So that's the the basics of the trap there, and then you've obviously got to get into the area to get the, uh, the diamond from there, and then get out of the area again. So yeah, my uh, way of marking off where the transport is going to go to, that's where it's going to teleport into the area, and this is where we're going to teleport out of the area. Or well, if I get this uh, aligned with the, uh, well, the pipe or whatever going downwards, uh, the corridor, whatever you'd call it. So then we get the teleporters, and we say, well, let's just put it, mm, where are we going to put it? Over here somewhere and then it's going to lead into that little place I uh, designated for it. A bit of wiggling around because it's hard to tell exactly where you're placing these things and then it goes out. And then yeah I had the idea here of putting the, the cages there so you kind of have to come into these areas in order to yeah, clear the, the cages and then it's like well what can I do 
you know, on top of that. And so I decided to oh, well, <laughs> get these things in the in the right position to start off with, so they look roughly centered. And then yeah, because I was working with the Takata graphic, I picked this tile here um, because it would have looked nicer. And then we have the little, uh, I suppose, little corridors going down to the uh, cages. And then of course you've got it set up like this. So what's the way to make it so that uh, you have to be careful around them? Of course, stick a few uh, boulders on top of those. And yeah, and I tried a different, like just array it some way. I didn't have much of an idea of you know, what the actual puzzle was going to be at this point. It's just like, oh, put the put the bowlers down. I'll figure out what the puzzle is going to be later. And the puzzle just kind of ends up being the way I kind of put it down, more or less. Because it actually ended up being kind of interesting. I mean, if it wasn't interesting, if you could just like walk through and there's nothing interesting happening there, I would have changed it up a bit. But here it's just, you know, oh, well, it, it, it works out well anyway. And then it's like, oh yeah, let's put a little trap down here so that you don't, you know, you, you're mindful not to block off the uh, the teleporter with the, any uh, boulders you drop down there. And you're adding a bit of like. Um, I was going to say colour, but that's not quite the right thing. I think a bit of like interest to the design um, so that it's not um, just all the same blocks all the time. And it you know, kind of gives like a finished curve to that part over there. And it's like, oh, well, I can kind of do a similar thing over the other side. You know, put some things up like that, kind of mirroring it. And then using these other walls to create a similar situation. And then having a thing here. Later on, these these kind of things, these bits and pieces, are more uh, shorter segments where any thinking I do is um, kind of done between uh, when I record things, so you don't get quite the, as long pauses as as this here. So yeah, doing something interesting here because I wanted the um, spirits that were here just to come right out of those areas and go into the um, the cages. So they're kind of like just keys for those cages so you can only get them from going from the, the bottom upwards and the easiest way to kind of do like a you know a single door key is just using the spirits to do such a thing. It's like yeah I wanted to put the the um, crown in, in there to make it more symmetrical. But I'd already kind of put the, the crown down because I kind of put them in, in places just to say this is kind of maybe where I want them to start off with. Um, but yeah, I think it looks better over there just to kind of add a bit of symmetry to the whole thing. Pop a spirit in there too. And yeah, some more thinking, but I know. <clears throat> so, you know, in designing this, this kind of has, you know, a, a kind of a little bit of symmetry, but not as much, because in the one, the the um, cage is centered, and the other is off center. And then, yeah, just like, put a bunch of dirt down here, and then I'll figure out what the puzzle actually is later on. Um, and that's going a bit too close to the wall there, so move that away. And so the general idea is to drop boulders down from the top into the 
the kind of middle areas to connect the cages to whatever I'm going to put down next. And this one it's like, yeah, maybe that's a little bit too close to there. Because you know you can you only need to drop one rock down there to connect it up to the cage. But yeah, I'm creating the kind of uh, hamburger area there. So there you got the buns in place, and then we've got something we can put in the middle there. And we get some nice cheese or something in the middle there as well. Yeah, it's kind of mirroring this area as well, making it a bit more symmetrical. And then it's like, oh, well, actually, I could go in like on the side of that area instead, rather than teleport into it. I can just like get into it from there. And then it's going to be some kind of thing with um, safes. And oh yeah, put the uh, egg on top of there. So you have to think about that when you collect the key. And this area kind of ended up being mostly just the way I lay it down here because it was just, you know, it, it kind of, not everything has to be complicated. <laughs> Part of me is like, oh, you must fill every little area of this with some puzzle or something or other. And then here, is, you know, it's just like, well, maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe it can just be an area which has, you know, a particular look to it. This this has a kind of a maze kind of look, but you know, it's not actually a maze really. Yeah, and this is if you try to come into this area without collecting the key first, then you can have a problem. So you oh, this is already kept setting up some of the flow of the level. And I think that's the video done there. The way I've got this set up, I can't quite tell if it's completely done, but I've kind of... Oh, there we go. <laughs> so th that's the video done. And um, yeah, so that was uh, the first part of it. And then obviously you can see here the how it all ends up in the end. So quite a bit to go still, but uh, you can see some of the, the, the pieces are in place at the moment. So yeah, next time we'll uh, do a bit more. So thanks for watching and see you then.